Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the toy room uh, more toy fair coverage this video We're taking a look at the loyal subjects and some of the new reveals that they uh, showed off at toy fair this year uh, So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start with their uh, Transformers figures looks like they're continuing on that line. Um, I haven't picked any of these up um, Not the huge uh, biggest Transformers fan in the world I've always liked the designs and everything but just never got into the toys But the designs of these guys look really 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 cool so you can see some of the uh, new figures coming out I'll be honest I don't really know all of their names I just know like the main characters and some of the side characters uh, but here are some of the figures here and then also you'll see uh, I guess um, the blind boxes uh, you'll see the blind box figures here and then it looks like that's their whole new wave coming out so these guys look really cool I won't be picking them up um, but definitely really cool designs on these guys and also they have their new masters of the universe line so these guys look really cool. I'm not a huge Masters of the Universe fan, so I don't know all of the characters' names. I really just know, you know, He-Man and Skeletor and um, Merman and stuff like that. But, I mean, you got you got these guys who look really, really cool right here. So I'll just kind of go through these pictures uh, really quickly. But you got He-Man, and you also have um, this variant of He-Man, which looks really cool. I do like these neon colors. Not sure if it's something from the show or that's just something they did, honestly. Let me know in the comments down below about these He-Man figures because like i said uh not a huge fan but definitely wanted to show it off for you guys and um yeah that's pretty much it with these guys all look really awesome and here's a you know a group shot of them all together uh so yeah that's uh the he-man figures and then here's a uh, quick group shot of the how to train your dragon series that they have coming out as well uh, which i didn't know that they did uh, how to train your dragon maybe this is the first time they did it honestly i'm not sure uh but what looks to be the first time and i'm really surprised about and this actually intrigues me a little bit is uh you see here the mr potato head uh minifigures these things I, I didn't know they were doing these so these look really cool i mean you got a ton of possibilities you can do with mr potato head as uh we've seen uh, we have like darth tater and spider-man uh Mr. Potato Head, so uh, I think there's even an Optimus Prime Potato Head, so I mean, this is going to look really cool. They can take this a bunch of different ways, so definitely interested to see what other figures they have, or what other style of figures they have coming out for this line. And uh, here we are with the Ninja Turtles. Um, so they did Ninja Turtles, I think about a year or two ago, they did their first uh, wave or two. So this is the new wave, looks like they're doing some of the villains. So you can see Rocksteady and Bebop right here. And you see a uh, group shot of them alongside Mikey and some of the other turtles. And then uh, we also have Leatherhead, so that's really cool. Um, so these guys all look pretty cool. It kind of makes me wish I picked up the original so I can pick up the villains as well. Uh, maybe I still will, who knows, we'll see. But you can also see Slash right here and a Foot Soldier. Slash looks really cool. Definitely one of the cooler looking villains throughout the entire Ninja Turtles universe. Um, and what also looks to be new is this giant sized, um, you know, version of the figure. I'm not sure the exact scale or size, but you can see it definitely towers over uh, their original uh, scale. I, I think these guys are maybe like three inches tall or something like that, three or four inches. So definitely towers over them. So really cool Ninja Turtles line. Uh, now we'll get into the Power Rangers line. Uh, I really, really love their Power Rangers figures, and I didn't pick up the uh, the first series that they came out with. I regret not picking them up. They were just a bit pricey uh, for me at the time, uh, but definitely wish I would have picked them up. But we can see they've done, uh, it looks like some alternate colors. Uh, I'm not really sure what the theme is for this, but they got basically all the heroes and the villains all done and black like everything that was white or silver before is now done in this black color you can see goldar is in all black the rangers all the white accents are done in all black so not sure the exact reason for this but they definitely look really cool so i think i might be picking these up um i mean i didn't get the original set so having this alternate color is definitely really cool so um looking forward to this looking forward to see more videos and pictures on these guys coming out hopefully in the next few months here um and then that pretty much covers it for the loyal subjects uh booth so really cool stuff you had the transformers masters of the universe ninja turtles mr potato head how to train your dragon and of course uh mighty Morphin power rangers so definitely some cool things happening for loyal subjects this year um and that pretty much does it for me that's it for this video if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And stay tuned for more Toy Fair coverage. Got more videos on the way. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So as always, I'll see you guys next time.